Q&A time <laughs> with one and only creator of Pop Trigger, executive producer of Pop Trigger, who's leaving us, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Yay. Woo. Tom Hanks. Woo. Oh Happy my God! Day to you. Young Turks family right behind us. This is everybody behind the scenes from all the various shows. Before you watch this, and if you're already watching it, pause, watch Tom's interview, and come back. That way you understand everything that's going on, why there's all these people here. Yeah. And we are just all obviously very sad to see Tom go. But what this is incredible, Tom. I mean, this is just such a testament to how much people love you. It's, I don't want to get emotional. It's, it's crazy. And it, you gave birth to all of us. It is such a <laughs> it is such a young Turks thing to sing me happy birthday when it has nothing to do with my birthday. I know. Perfect. It's actually perfect. But what are you feeling? What do you feel right now? Uh, I'm glad that I'm not uh, crying right now Cry. because that would be embarrassing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's bring in a Cry. puppy. She just start bringing a puppy and take it away. Mean, Brett. Leave it to Brett. Um, so, so do you want to have the first bite? So it reads, "Good luck." If you guys can't see the cookie cake, yum. Ooh. Cookie cake. Are you a chocolate chip <laughs> cookie the fan? Cake. It, it is, is the best cake. cake. Yes, Who doesn't like cho chocolate bite. chip cookies? Yeah. Um, so I think you get a bite. Give him a bite. We have plates in there. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's got it. Feed it to him. Feed it to him. Ricky, Ricky is touching everybody's. What are you doing? Eat it. He did it. Yeah. This is from us. We made you a Tom's Corner Aww. shirt. Tom's Corner. Aww. Tom's Corner. Tom's Corner. Yay, Tom. Yeah. That shirt is called a small. It's in a lady's small. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's motivation. Hey, right, yeah. you can give motivation. it to Brittany. She can wear it. Tom's Corner. That's Why right. not? Yeah. 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 Perfect. I like that. This is from Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> is there a mic I can, I can speak into? Yeah. Sam's, I guess. Oh, yeah. Sam's show. Sam's show. Sam's All right, so, um, I probably work with Tom the most. And <laughs> yeah. should, I, should I get closer? No. And, oh, and I just want to say, um, oh it's been a pleasure working with Tom, and I'm going to really miss him. Aww. Can I lean into somebody's chest to talk? Yes. <laughs> oh, please turn, please turn. Get, turn. In get on in. I, I really want to thank Tom, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also Mike. <laughs> I miss you, Tom. I love you so much. So everybody out there, all the Pop Trigger fans, please share your favorite Tom's Corner moments, um, ideas of what you thought Tom was like, and then in comparison to who now. <laughs> and now the reveal. Tom's, Tom's Corner. Corner. What's the story? Tom's Corner. Because Tom is going. There's no more Tom. No, don't stop. I know. That. Okay. It's like I don't exist. Uh, <laughs> the Tom. lights close and I just my molecules separate. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. We are. It's like you got stabbed by You like Buffy. Alex Mac puddle everywhere. Oh, we we will still differences. have Tom's corner. We're gonna stalk you, Tom. We're gonna call you randomly here on Pop Trigger. You're you were for, forever. Be a part of Pop Trigger. You did create it. Okay, so right to the QA coming in from Twitter from Pell Nilsson. Pop Trigger, how's the corner like? Seems cozy. Bang and boop. Tom. What is that corner like, Tom? I guess we should ask Amir now, our new EP. Cold. Oh. It's cold, dark, lonely. Actually, no, now there's a bunch of people watching the show, and like every once in a while we have guests that uh, come on and sit and watch the show, and Brett's. Uh, Wonderful girlfriend. Coming in from Jack Breeze We love you, Jack. Yay. Jack. He Jack, says, Jack made fun of me on Twitter the other day. <clears throat> what did he, he say? Did? He's like, you're better than this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he says, uh, Jack Breeze Boo says, Tom, what finally made you leave your corner? <laughs> For the answer to that, you should watch my interview segment mm -hmm. that came out, uh, The Big Reveal. We're so, so happy for you, Tom. And we won't tell you here because we're paid for per view. Yeah. So go watch something else. <laughs> He's right. Coming in from Sarah Malice, she says, what is your favorite 90s band? And then she gives us the hashtag Massachusetts boop. 
And hashtag ask Tom. Uh, bewitched. <laughs> yes, is the answer. Uh, Nirvana, Oasis, yes. Modest Mouse. Good, really good. Wow. Modest Mouse cannot be classified as a 90s. It movie. was if you were I a cool kid you. that oh, listened to it hell in the yeah, 90s. Hell yeah, Tom, that makes sense. putting that makes him sense. in his I take corner. It back. Uh, Sublime. Yes. Yeah. So and, then, cool. and then Hootie and the Blowfish. Ooh, not ouch. so cool. Yeah, anymore. but when it comes on 90s on 9 now, I'm like, oh, I want to no. be with you. Negative. I definitely was a huge Sublime fan. Definitely a huge Nirvana fan. But in the 90s, I was listening to like old school punk rock, which was like more 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I did love me. And Slayer, Slayer was definitely more really popular in the 90s. So I would say mine's going to be three Slayer, Nirvana, Sublime. Boo. And Metallica. Sh there's so much. Nope. Okay. Sorry, Metallica. You did not make the list. Coming in from Greg Rogers. There should be more unedited, uncensored video videos. I agree. Totally unedited. Great Tim's for Tim. Like, okay, done. Tim's Tim's like, like, sure. Tim done. Like, done. Finish. L, that's right. hilarious. But yeah, we'll definitely um, do more. Because here's the thing. With a lot of like the poppy ones, the editing really does add to it. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes fun of us. It introduces another narration. And it's really fun to have that. But with some of more of the serious ones or where there's some really unique moments, yeah. we like to have those raw. Mm. Yeah. But not all of them should be raw. Coming in from Facebook from Stephen N. Yay, Tom. Hey, Tom, who did you hire first on the panel? How did you find them? Boop from New Zealand. Oh. Can't wait this is so this. good. We, we don't even know this. So we did a, we did a casting call uh, for Pop Trigger. And <laughs> Samantha like immediately was like, OK, done. No brainer. Really? Pound the gavel. Head and shoulders. This is like lead host. She's amazing. Oh my god! Chris. And I, t I auditioned for it. I went to two auditions. So thank you. <laughs> That's so nice to hear. What about Brie? And I already know your story, but we're gonna talk about that. What about Brie? So for Brie, the funny thing was, I actually did a search myself on YouTube to look for people who already had like some fans and who did like something that had a personality that I thought could fit with the show. And I actually like personally like saw Brie and said like, okay, I want her to come try out for this show. You saw her personality and knew yeah, it would be perfect. Because it was a combination of, so she liked to do like funny comedy stuff, but then she also had some like really like serious, like more inspiring videos. Yeah. Uh, you did that really awesome one about bullying and Aww. you were featured in Seventeen Magazine. Yeah, And girl. so I was like, yeah. you know, I want someone that that has that you know awesome. can do that variety and stuff. So she and, didn't then, really and, have then, to and then Brett was well, just kind of hanging around the studio. That's, well, no. actually, here's what happened. I was I was reading my subscription to Seventeen magazine, <laughs> and I got really inspired. I found out that Brie was going to be on the show, and I, ha I have to be on that show. Good I had a conversation with Tom because we both are a huge fan of yours. We saw how you know witty you are and smart you are and good at uh, impersonations you are and and it was it was like we know that if Brett's available, he has to be that next permanent chair. And then you came on one episode and we it just solidified. Yeah. So Brett didn't even have to audition. He was like asked to be a part of the show. And then after that first episode, I guess that kind of was your audition. If you would have sucked, you would have never been asked back. Yeah, which would have been super awkward. Because my job was actually in the same studio. Yeah. So I'd have to sit there and watch people come in. I would have made it real awkward for you guys until you let me play. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and then coming in from Brittany D. Ooh. I love Tom Tom Boop. Ooh, let's Ooh. start trending Tom Boop, at least for um, this episode. Did you not pick up who that is? Your wife. Who is that? Brittany D. <laughs> hey, Mike P hey. has pop trigger run as expected thus far. Are you completely satisfied with the results? Yes, <laughs> but I think that there's a lot more potential. I do too. And I think I think one like two two really important things uh, I think for people to understand. Number one, we only film two days a week, mm -hmm. so that's that's a big hurdle to overcome because most news or pop culture shows they're five days a week because there's always fresh breaking news, right? And so for us, it's like a big challenge. Like, how do we keep things fresh when it came out three days ago? Or there are a lot of stories we just have to. We're like we just we can't talk about this, it's just, it's too late now, right? So that's one big challenge that I'm proud of how much we've accomplished in spite of that. And then the other thing is, you know, uh, as we referenced in some of the other videos we've, we've done on this episode, uh, we're on the Young Turks Network, which is mostly known for news and politics, and this is obviously not a news and politics mm -hmm. show. And the audience for our main show, which has well over a million subscribers and over a billion views, that's amazing, and you'd think that would help us, except that that is an older male audience relative to 
the right. Pop Trigger audience. So like we can't different do demo. like cross promotion with uh, other shows because it's different audiences. Whereas if this show was like part of a more like pop culture network, then we'd always do like cross promotion and like more people would hear about us. But in spite of that, I, I am really proud of how much we've accomplished, of a lot of the great guests we've had on, of how much all of you guys have grown as hosts. I mean, just amazing, you know? Like, you're so funny. You're so, like, like Brie, like, just, you're just, you're just Brie. You're so Brie. You always had kind of like a I don't care attitude. Yeah. But, like, but then, like, over time, you just, you would just go with the story. Like, it's like, I know Brie doesn't care that much about, like, <laughs> this story, but you know what? She's going to have her opinion on it anyway, so I'm proud of you for that, and that's a big Thanks, deal. Thanks, Tom. And, Thank you. and you always have your own style, which is great. Thanks. Yeah. And you, I mean, come on, Samantha, I mean, oh, lights yeah. out, like... I would endorse you to the end of end of time. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then Tom yeah. opens up and has a bomb, which is in 15 <laughs> minutes. I want six million dollars. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, the waterworks are starting. Um, Tom, you have been such a joy to work with, yeah. and you have uh, created something so magical here. We've all worked on so many different shows, and this is definitely the most enjoyable show that I've ever been on. I. Thank my lucky star is coming in here, and honestly, it's going to be really hard not having you here here every day. We're so excited to have Amir. Amir is fantastic, and um, we just hope that we can continue to call you here and there. I know. But I do want you to know, just that we, I thank you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for allowing us to do this every day and for being such a good friend. You've become a really good friend of ours. Yeah. I want to say something. First up. I uh, want to thank you because I was doing like very politicky stuff when this all started, which was driving me insane to do on a daily basis. And it was always a nice release to come and talk about Lindsay Lohan's vagina. But this show, like I couldn't see you doing like a show that just talked about that stuff. But because this show has like the, the, intelligent conversation behind it, I feel like it's perfect. Right, and then also, I don't get choked up because yes, this era is drawing to a close, but you get that feeling about people, certain people, not all people, where it's like, I know that at any point, I can pick up my Blackberry or iPhone or space phone in the future mm -hmm. and just be like, so Tom, like this made me think of you, fart face or whatever. <laughs> and I can, I can do that and I will never feel awkward doing that. So that is something I'm grateful for and thank you. Yeah, we're so happy for you too. Yeah. Congratulations, big things ahead. You, I, I, I wanna say something too. I just wanna thank you because you've been a role model to me. Like I look up to you. I look up to all of you guys. Like I know I'm like the youngest one here, but like you really helped me grow as a person, like whether you know it or not. And I swear to God, like I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss your awkward hugs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, thanks for taking a chance on on me, especially because these guys have so much experience, and of course they're fucking hilarious and amazing. But like no one ever has, and so it just means so much mm. to me. Like I audition for shit all the time, but like. I don't know how I got this, but I did, and th I mean, thank you. Like, this has been such an amazing experience, and like, you really know what you're doing. And <sighs> I've come to you for so much advice, and just not just for this, but just like life advice. You've been there for me, so thank you. I'm gonna miss you so much. We love you, Tom. Hey, Slow circle. clap. Slow clap. <laughs> Okay, we have two more. We're gonna go through these really quickly. Emmanuel R, do you speak any other languages? Do you play any instruments? Uh, hashtag French, French, English, boop. Uh, speak any languages? Uh, poquito, Espanol, instruments. The baritone, the baritone. They call me the heavy metal. Okay. No. Yes, Bree. Do I don't. Do oh, okay. Uh, I played guitar for seven months. Uh, I, un poquito de español también. Mejor que ella. Oh. Uh, Pritchum Srpski, which means oh, I speak Serbian. Serbian, but like I'm Whoa. super, super wow. rusty. Wow, that was wow. out of nowhere. Wow, <laughs> sexy. Oh, the old Serbian. Instru instrument? Conversational <laughs> Serbian. Yeah. I speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. I speak a little Italian. Oh. Love to pretend to speak French. 
and I play guitar, banjo, mandolin, harmonica, okay. a little piano. Okay, Brett. And, and f you guys. Finally, from <laughs> Nathaniel M. If the four of you were stranded on an island with no chance of return, what would go down? I feel like this is all we need. I'm sure I would a predict lot. some fights, but we'd be like a family and always move what on. Would, but everyone gets their task. Everyone has a job. What would okay, your so job who, oh, be? good, good, good. I feel like my job would be like the um, like the cruise director. I'd be the one that's like, this is what we're gonna do today, guys. What do you see yourself as? I am a hunter gatherer. Really, I could not hunt. You were no. a cruise director because our cruise just got stranded on a desert island. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, a hunter gatherer. Yeah, okay. I can hold my breath for like over a minute. Whoa! Hey, so I'll catch the fish. Hey, I Hell can yeah. swim really well. Yeah, I you can guys, swim I like that. You and I fishing. can do that. You, I don't want to kill any fish. I, I do, because we would starve and you die. You would go, you'd swim down there and point where all the fish are. And, and I then would, Bree would slay them. I would grab I'd them go with down my there and be like, go fishies, go. You're the worst person to have on a desert island. You have to get crazy. Yeah. You have to eat things. You have to this eat This isn't food. lost where all these fucking papayas just show up out of nowhere. I could do rice and I could do where berries. Where does the rice come from? <laughs> oh, well, we'll make a palapa. <laughs> We'll put rice under it. No, girl. And I'll be the cruise director. No, and show literally. Them in 15 minutes. Girl, we're gonna have to eat our <laughs> poop and pee straight up. So. And we would somehow do pop trigger from this. <laughs> no one would see it. We'd go crazy and like you know and, and we cast away where we had Wilson. on our face from the sun. <laughs> the palm trees were total bitches today. <laughs> what would you bring to the desert island? Uh, unfortunately, I have no man skills at You don't all. know how to do a sundial? As my wife can attest, like, I would, I would just die. And, and, and with my sacrifice. Would you come in a fat hold tie? Hold on, with my sacrifice, I would give you my fat tie. You could use it to I, choke. I would put it around here. <laughs> like me, Rambo, that would come bitch. to the island. Rambo. No, but with my death, first of all, you could eat, eat me, but that would be 25% <laughs> less food and water that you'd have to supply, and that would be my grand sacrifice oh, to you guys. Tom. That's the best answer. Two points for Tom. Actually, I'm giving Tom 20 points for leaving. No, that sounded bad. Wow. I'm give, no! We're giving you 20 celebratory goodbye points. Get the hell out of here. Points goodbye points. Like. Can I trade that for rent in San Francisco? Because <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get started on how much try, it costs. Call your landlord up and try. See what they say. That's crazy. Um, all right, so big, 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 Big warm goodbye. Thank you for everything that you brought to this table. Thank you for creating Pop Trigger. Thank you for being such a dear friend. We love you. Yes. And we will be, I'm not sad because we're gonna continue to call you from, we're gonna come up with a new segment calling Stalking it's Tom. It's still Tom's Corner. Stalking Tom's Corner. We're gonna call you like you're gonna be at work and we're gonna call you. Yeah. Can't I'm wait. I'm gonna get fired. You guys, let us know what segments you can think of where we can involve Tom, but Tom away in San Francisco. So let us know your ideas. And we'll miss you, Tom. We love you. Good luck. And we will see you all next time on Pop Trigger.